Welcome back to Google Food guys. Today I got a little different type of video because I'm in a hurry. I got the kids hungry, I got Angel hungry, and I'm hungry. We're gonna make beef stroganoff, check it out. For today's cook, I'm gonna be using the leftovers from this tenderloin which I used for a cook on my main channel, Sous Vide Everything. If you have not seen that video, make sure you check it out later on. And these are the leftovers. When you're a busy dad like me, you gotta use your time wisely, and I'm steaming some rice. Now for the tenderloin, it has been resting in my refrigerator for about 3 days. And the first thing we gotta do is season it. For this steak stroganoff, you're gonna need a few things. The first one is finely chopped white onions. The leftover tenderloin, chopped in small pieces. And I seasoned it with salt, black pepper and garlic powder. Now mix it well and we are ready for the grill. I'm gonna be cooking the stroganoff on my grill, but you are welcome to cook it indoors. You do know there's something very special about cooking outdoors, so let's do it. I started off with olive oil so I can brown up those onions. You might think you'll see me falling to the ground, but I threw up my umbrella. Then throw in the tenderloin until you see those juices starts releasing. Yeah! Right when you're about this point, it's time for a little bit of liquor, and I'm using Maker's Mark. Be sure to burn off that alcohol. Throw in some mushrooms. Then throw in a can of tomato sauce. And the secret ingredient. Alright guys, this is the secret ingredient right here. Creme de leche. You cannot replace it with anything else. It must be creme de leche. And remember, exact amount in the description down below. It is important that you only use the table cream, not the liquids left over inside of the can. Check it out. Now all there's left to do is mix it well and your stroganoff is done. Angel, what do you think of this beauty, huh? This is my favorite, man. This is Angel's favorite food. I don't blame him. Guys, it's so easy to make. How long did it take me to make that? Well, like uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. It's so quick. It boom, 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 chop it up. Now you be the, you be the judge, because I know you like this one. It's one of my favorites. It's my favorite thing to do as well. It's too easy. Mm. Huh, Angel? Tell me. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Guys. It's a unique flavor. Make sure that you use the creme de leche. I'm gonna put it on the link in the description down below. If you use anything else, whipped cream or milk or powdered milk, it will not work. You ruin it. You have to use the right thing. This is so good. <laughs> I can't wait, I'm sorry. Come on. Now I make a lot of chicken stroganoff and I make beef stroganoff. Which one is your favorite? Usually I like the chicken one the most, but this time, this is really good. You know why? Because it's filet mignon. And we use Maker's Mark. <laughs> oh. You feel a little of that tangy taste? Oh, and you even got mushrooms in there. We got mushrooms. You're gonna go for the mushrooms? No, I'm not going for the mushrooms. And just don't like any mushrooms. Anyway, guys, that's how you use the whole filet mignon. This is perfect perfect recipe for this let me know if you enjoyed this type of video which is quick 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 not so much fancy stuff because it was simple easy for me to make and i can make a bunch for you guys oh yeah you like it fast and easy I like fast and easy but it also has to be like fast and easy and tasty 
has to so be. So this is a good one because it came out fast, easy, and it's tasty. Oh, it's good. Follow all the directions. I hope I explained it well. If you have any question, make sure you put it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is down in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Make this, make this. Make it. If you can, make it with the filet mignon using the whole piece, everybody. Don't waste anything. We use the whole piece every time. You make this for your son. You make this for your brother, dad, whoever. Super happy. Whenever Gua makes this for me, I go home full and happy. There's no way you can mess it up. Give it a try, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.